Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Black Desert today, and yes, I know I said today this is Thursday would be PSO2, but we're doing Black Desert because it's been a while since we did a Sork, and I needed to do an update video. So we went ahead and upgraded gear massively. We are at 539 gear score now, um, 244 AP, 295 DP. We got 17 more AP to go for the 261 um, bump or like a skill range. So we're working on that. It's going to be expensive. Um, however, I want to do it. But the upgrades, let's go over the upgrades we made. So first, I got the Changa Sherikon Tome of Wisdom, which gives combat grade XP obtained through quest rewards plus 30% and vision plus 150. This is for your whatever that adventures tome. But the increases that we made first, Tungrad Earring, 1313, um, 1.2 billion, Eye of the Ruins Ring, 1414, 1.18 billion, and then Ogre Ring, 2525, 1.25 billion. So I want to say, we're going to put these on so, you, so we can see. These were the items that we had before. Oops, I was wrong, but that worked. And then put that there. So see, we had 217.305 before the swap. Obviously, we gave up DP in this, but I think the gains on AP were definitely worth it. If you can see the equip right there, that's a huge increase. That's 14 AP. It's it's a net it's a net gain of nine gear score, but it's 14 AP. And then off of the earrings here, that brought us to 237. That was a six, five gear score increase, six AP increase. And then the Eye of Ancient Ruins. This was a nice, or Eye of the Ruins ring. Um, this was a seven AP increase. It was only a three gear score increase. So it was the smallest of all the increases that we did, but it was still a decent, it was a seven AP increase, which I desperately was looking for. The goal right now is, I, I'm not quite sure. We're saving money right now. I have about 600 million, which obviously is not a whole lot, but we have stuff to sell still and, and whatnot. So I have stuff I need to do. I need to exchange these as well. Um, we got 150 of these for completing a quest. So we could exchange those for some stuff and uh, potentially make a little bit of money off of that. Uh, I'm somewhere between getting Red Nose Armor and Muskin Shoes. I think I'm going to get them to, um, what is it, Tet, Tet, and um, then we're going to try to save up and either upgrade on my own. I'll probably end up buying, but um, then we need to upgrade. All, I'm, I'll probably do Often Tets first because I believe it's a 9 AP increase. That would get us to 253. And then Kudum is only like a 2, so that would get us to 255, and then I would have to figure out one, some way or another to get these up. It would probably be Ogre, so if we go to the shop and we go to the Central Market, I'll just make 100% sure. So we would go off in Tet to, um, to Pen. So that's 127 average. one. So it's an 8 increase, so we get an 8 increase off of our Amulet. And then off of our sub weapon, we would get. Where is it? Talisman. Go in with Kudum. We would go Kudum Pen. And that would be 32. 30, yeah, it'd be a 2. So we're at a 10 increase currently. I mean, you could go with the Noiver. Um, I don't really want to because we'll have to go back to Kudum anyway. But that's that would be enough. It would be 45. I think that would be enough to get us to. Because we're at 8. Would that be enough? 30, 15, 23. No, we'd still be short a little bit. So, but right now we're at 10 increase. No, that'd be enough to get us to 261. That'd be enough to get us to 261. I was adding the math wrong. So that would be enough, but I don't really want to go that way. We're at 10 right now, and that would increase us to 254. So we would need a 7 increase. And I think the best way to go about that would just be would probably be where's accessories um not belt uh necklace 
I would probably, I mean, we're not going to go for the Pen Ogre, even though that would do it. <laughs> that's the 10 increase, but that's 66 billion or a lot of work to get it up there. We could go with the Tet, that's 5, that's 15, and that would put us at 259. 6 billion is a lot, but it, it's not unobtainable. And then Tungrad, I think, was the other one. Yeah, at, um, yeah, this would get us to 261. We would be at exactly 261 from Tungrad, Try to Tet. So we're looking at about 30 billion that we need to do that. We could also upgrade the belt. Um, I don't even... Oh, we have the Kaposha belt right now. So I think... I think we want this with the Aachen Reds. Yeah, we would we could go oh, no, no, that's not enough of an increase. The Aachen Reds. Um that's it. let's see here. Centaur enough of an increase? No, a centaur's defense. Uh where is it? Bas is Basilisks enough of an increase? Yeah, Bas Basilisks would be enough. That's a little bit cheaper, so we might do that, but I can't sell the Kaposha. So that's the one, that's the one issue. I wouldn't get any money back on that. But yeah, that's our goals right now. I'm going to try to start, gr I haven't been grinding like at all. <laughs> we just kind of, I just get, get on, play, record videos, and that's how it goes. I'm going to try to grind one hour every night. I know that's not a ton, but one hour every night is one hour more than I grind now. And these areas, if I grind for an hour, I think I should make about 34 to 50 million just off of eh, 30 million ish off of just trash loot that I can sell that doesn't include any of the other stuff that we acquire and so I think that's what we're gonna do that'll help us get to going and we'll see I'll, I'll try to grind more but obviously I only want to play this when it's fun like I'm not trying to min max a character but we definitely need to get up but right now we have I just attracted that dude Oh, no, I did. Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, we gotta exterminate packs of Fadoos at Loppy Tree Forest. That's the quest we're currently on. If I give us a little update on the quest, we are currently on Kama 2. Um, actually, no, we're not. What are we on? We're on Authentic Training, but it's not even a quest that shows up here. Because, yeah, quality. I mean, it doesn't show up, and I don't quite understand why, but... We have all these quests to go. I'm working on this quest. It's considered a main quest. Doesn't fall under what I thought, but yeah, we gotta deal with these and then continue this quest. I don't really know how far or what it technically falls under, but yeah, we have all of this to do and then we still have Dragon and then obviously Star's End. I'm definitely not geared for Star's End, but goal still to get there. I think 261. With my skill level, I probably need higher than 261, probably need 265 or 269 to do Star's End, but we shall see. I should probably put on... Uh, do I care enough? I mean, I probably should put this stuff on, but it's expensive. One of them is a half hour, isn't it? That's 120 minutes. Oh, these event... These are only 15 minutes? I guess they are. These beast drops are only... Wow, um, how much are these on the marketplace? 700k for 15 minutes. That's kind of, it's kind of iffy. I don't know, I, I thought they were, I thought they were longer than that, but that's okay. I didn't, hold on, hold on, leave me alone, buddy. I gotta, I gotta buff. I gotta put my defensive, and I also need to do more grinding so I can get more skill points, more, just more everything. We just gotta get grinded up and I need to get to level 61 at least 62 is probably preferable but uh, I need to at least get to 60 uh, 61 anything past like that I don't really care but yeah, we definitely have to get going to a little bit higher level here because right now I don't think we're, we're not in a bad spot but we just need to get level up a little bit more i gotta find i thought that was it but it's actually i think it's down here there's like some pretty decent rotation spots for this area i actually considered i think i did do the full like 600 quest earlier while i was like running through 
I thought, um, I thought I had already completed, because they had you do one quest already that dealt with, um, why is my character side spinning instead of going forward? Um, they already had you do a quest that required you to kill, so I thought I was all done with it, so I took the little, like, side 600 kill, and that was fairly easy, but, yeah, I would have just preferred to do it now, even though I have to kill 300 anyway. I'm still working on getting used to, you know, combos again. I know I don't have full stuff unlocked, and I'm still not great with uh, my management of my mana points, so we're still, like, heavy using that. And I need to figure out, I think, um, I think my best bet when I can't do the, what's it called, Rushing Crow, Prime Rushing Crow, I think the best bet to movement is doing this, because it doesn't have a cooldown, but I have to figure that out, because right now I'm not probably doing it effectively, and so I don't want to... Well, I gotta, fig I gotta figure that out, essentially. I mean, it's not a super big deal, but, I mean, I can't be... Okay, why is my frames, like, going to absolute... Why did that just happen? What was that? But yeah, like, pack to pack. And you can do the spin out of it, so I think I think it's probably the best way. I know some of the characters have better movement mob to mob than that, so I don't know if Sork does, if that's what I'm looking at. Which is fine, I don't really have a problem with it. But it's just, you know, I want to make sure I'm doing it correctly. But yeah, so we're making good gear score gains now. Um, I, felt, I feel like we... We're kind of stuck in that, like, oh yeah, there's that, like, main... Is he still here? I formed through this area earlier, and there was, like, one of those, little, like, mini-bosses, and my god, he did no damage, but he had a billion health. It's kind of ridiculous. I wish that cooldown on the Rushing Crows was just a little bit, little bit quicker. It's not bad, but I just wish it was a little bit quicker. Because I think it'd be a little bit better if it was. If it was, what is it? Is it three seconds or five seconds? I think it's. Hold on, let me see. So if I do rushing, cr it's five seconds. Yeah. If it was like a, I don't know, a two and a half second cooldown or three second cooldown, I feel like it'd be better because then you could go mob to mob with it. I mean, you essentially try to go mob to mob with it anyway. As I once again forget to do my... I need to just work on, like, every, like, 10 seconds, just flip the thing over and do that. Because, I mean, I end up doing it anyway, so... I mean, I just end up doing it in an awkward flow when I run out of stuff anyway, so I might as well just get in the habit, but... Yeah, and that's really... And, I mean, it's kind of why I can't do... I'm not trying to do, um... Grinds for, like massive amount of times it's like three hour sessions i know like people sit here and grind video for like 10 hours in a row i just you know i just can't do it i just can't i don't have the mental i don't have the mental capacity to sit here for that long and grind it out like the hour is enough for me and i just not letting me do rushing crow. let me do rushing crow. there we go it was like doing the the regular, like, uh, not that. it was doing like this attack instead of rushing pro. This attack is so bad. Uh, I gotta do some upgrades. We, the main reason I need to do grinding is because I need to get more skill points. We don't have that many. And my earlier grind of this for, and I know I have some like skill point. I have all sorts of like, what is happening outside my house? Who is mowing the yard? But, um, I know I have a bunch of boosted skill point scrolls and stuff like that to get higher skill points and all, and all that goodies. And so, I need to take advantage of that. I have gotten a little bit better at popping the pots that I have on my character. Instead of just, like, weirdly getting to points where I it's just more weird because I run out of and I'm just standing there and I'm like, oh, what's happening? But it's just a matter, I just gotta get back to playing, I think. I think
think that's just the main thing, is I just gotta get back to grinding out, and then I think, I think the more I play, the more I'll get used to it. Because right now, it just still feels awkward. I think, you know, you take a gear off from something. And most things, you don't have to, like, have combos. Like, I don't play... I didn't play any MMOs in that, like, year I took off, so... It's just the... It's just gonna be a re... Not learning experience, but, like, a re... Getting used to it. Because, like, I know how to do it, I just don't really... I just don't do it correctly. Alright. Almost done with those. Got 52 more to go. And I'm just going to try to complete the story as quick as possible. I, I mean, most of it's just like, go and fetch this, do this, trade in this, and then do this. It's like not a whole lot of fighting quests. So I'm just going to try and grind out the story as well. But I do want to try to do at least an hour of grinding every night. And eventually I want to do, once we finish up the story or get as far as we can, I want to do episodes like, oh, I did an hour grinding at this location. Here's what I got. And I think that would be fairly decent to, to go over. Like, oh, I went to, you know, Polly's Forest and I grinded for an hour. And here's, a li here's some clips of me grinding and then here's like what I got for that hour. Was it, did, did I get anything worth it? And I know, like, my experiences in an hour is not indicative of, like, how good a crying spot is, but I think it's, like, something that we can do that's like, okay, well, we did this, and we did this. Are my pets... no. I was gonna say, are my pets, like, f need food? But yeah, I think that's something that we can do. I think it'll be good. I think I just need... I don't know if there's another skill that... If I could just have one more skill that was kinda real good for, like, taking out a bunch of enemies in one, like, button press, like the Y is and my LB. If I could get something else like that and, like, the LTX, I feel like I would be in a lot better shape. I just need, like, one more. Because I just end up spamming these same three spells, which I understand a lot of the PvE content is just, you know, you're not doing, like, full crazy combos. I mean, you do have to do combos, especially, like, later on, but you're not doing, like, crazy PvP con- or, like, uh, combos, concept combos. So, I just need to work on, like, right there. Like, we can see my thing is low. I either need to use the, the, the pot, or I need to dark trade, or something like that. I need to, like, be on my game. And I wish it was a little bit easier on console, because, like, on a keyboard, you have your hands all over the keyboard. Like, you can pretty much hit any key you need. On the controller, it's over on the D-pad. So, like, I have to move my hand off the stick. And so it's not, like, as easy as having a finger over that and then hitting it. So that's, like, my only thing that I have to get used to. I have to think about taking my finger off and smacking, like, the butt. Which is not too big of a deal, but it's just one of those things that I have to get, I have to get used to. And I think grinding an hour every day will help me get more used to it over time. So I think, I, I just think that's what we need to do. It's going to be the best thing that I can do to help myself get more used to it. I think I'm getting better here as we go, but running through the quest and that have being the only thing that I do for the day is not really helpful of getting back into grinding and whatnot because i used to do like two hour sessions at at fog Inns or at bashim's base so i need to get back into doing that it's just gonna take just gonna take some time i really like the the sword succession but i just gotta get used to it because it uses a lot more with the 
with the Awakened Sword, there was a lot more... There was a lot more um, hitting of enemies that didn't involve... Um, all right, can you all hurry up and get over here? Um, there was just a whole lot more like singular attacks like within it because you would you would spin to win and then after you spun to win sp spun to win spin to win you would um you would get like one hit in with your with your um rb skill there's a lot more like recovery abilities than there is with this because this is just a lot of skills there's not a whole lot of for me, at least, there's not a whole lot of, like, RBs or just regular Bs or Xs. There's just not a whole lot of that involved in how I play this. So, I have to get... It's going to be a little bit more costly for me to play this because I'm going to be using a lot more of the mana pots. But I think it just it's going to work out better. I think that's just how we're going to have to do it. And like I always say, this is fun for me. It's not supposed to be, like, super serious. I don't want to take it super serious and, like, overly min-max it. I just want to have fun and grind on my Sork, because I really like playing Sork and just have fun. And then I like to test out the other characters. So, like, we're going to get to Nova Awakening. We're going to give it a go, have some fun on it. If I, if I feel like I like it a bunch, we'll keep it around. But if I don't, then we'll switch off. I still need to get a lawn because I really enjoyed the lawn time that I had playing lawn. I probably would start a new one because I don't know. It feels weird logging back into some of those old characters and trying to play on them. So we're just gonna keep messing around with second characters. Sork is gonna be the main, on, uh, probably forever because uh, none of the characters I have liked as much as Sork. Awakening, pre-awakening, it doesn't matter. Archer was close. I really liked Archer. But, yeah, I want to give Lon a try, Ranger a try. But, obviously, that requires me to grind a little bit more. I mean, we got 0.25% XP towards level 61. We just got to keep working, getting to 61, 62. I'll slow down on sort content probably once I get to... I don't know. I would have to get into, like, the... I'd have to get into, like, the billions of saved gold because otherwise... Because this is going to be my best character to grind gold, so we're still going to grind gold on it. I can always re-roll characters and whatnot, but I just... I don't know. I put the effort in to get him to that level. I kind of like to keep him. Like, keep the Sork. It's my, it's my high level. It's my original character. Um, kind of has the sentimental part, even though I lost the name because I named the character on PlayStation the same name. Um... Even though Xbox was the first... I'm still annoyed about that. Even though Xbox was the first console that they put this on, PlayStation had priority on names, which was stupid. It was just dumb. I don't know why they did that. Uh, because I made the... I know why they did it. It's because I made the... I think I made Yennefer on PlayStation... I believe I made her like three minutes after the game launched on that console, and we had issues on the Xbox. So I think it was like 40 minutes after launch on Xbox. So technically the PlayStation 1 was active earlier on in the server, but it was just stupid to me because now I have Yennefer BDC, but I own the Yennefer account. So it's like, you know, <laughs> I own both Yennefer accounts. Like, let me have this one be Yennefer. I should probably change that one's name. And then it would probably allow me to change the name on here to Yennefer. But I think... I want to say I would have to wait, like, a few hours. Which would be... Kind of... I have to sweat that out. But I should probably do that. Same with Siri. I have Siri on PlayStation. I don't have Siri on Xbox, but I have Siri on PlayStation. Or do I? Or is it Cirilla? I don't remember which one I have on PlayStation. Is it either Siri or Cirilla? I have the one with, like, out any weird characters or anything. So... I should probably get that over on Xbox, too, because I'm not pl I don't plan to play on PlayStation 5. As soon as an MMO releases that's like, oh, this is only PS5 and PC, I'll get a PS5 to play it. But, yeah, that's gonna do it. This, this, this felt like, uh, this felt like an old-time episode from, like, a long time ago. We finished up the quest, we came back to town, and I ran around in circles while I ranted for two minutes about something. 
that just feels like the old days of videos where I would just, you know, spend half the video doing something and then half the video ranting. But that's going to do it, guys. I'll see you all tomorrow. I'm going to make sure my PC... See, my PC... I love my PC, but I also hate my PC. It does not perform optimally to the, what I have installed in it. I've tried to optimize its performance, and it just doesn't want to optimize. It just doesn't want to run like it should. So I'm going to get a new PC. I need one anyway. I mean, this PC was cheap. It's like a $1,000 PC like two years ago or a year and a half. I think it's two years ago now. I think it's a two-year-old PC now. So yeah, it just needs to be upgraded. That's It's pretty much as simple as that. It just needs to be upgraded. And so I'm going to get a new one and then I'll use the one I have now for recording and stuff like that and the other one for actually playing games and doing stuff on. But yeah, I'm hoping the PC is good enough to handle PSO2 New Genesis. If not, I might go to a friend's house and use his PC, but we'll have to see. But that's going to do it, guys, for this video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't. I know I babbled for like seven minutes. I'll catch you guys tomorrow for PSO2 New Genesis, one way or another. So I'll catch you guys then. Peace.